Chronicles of an Angry Baby Father. Nah, let me stop. But man, black men have it hard in America. It's got to say that, man. It's got to be real. And uh, I didn't know how it's going to be phrased. That's why I started off saying that, you know. Diaries of a mad black man, black baby, baby daddy. Nigga. Nah, man, I'm just going to talk a little bit about my personal situation and people that go along and go through things similar to my own. Uh, crazy situation I've been in. Crazy situation. Crazy situation, man. Found out last December, but I kind of always had an inkling that it could be, but I found out for sure last December through a DNA test that I have a nine-year-old daughter. Nine-year-old daughter. That's right. That's right. Once again, I'll say uh, with all sincerity, this was not the first time that I had a inkling that this could be my child. That is just the facts. I'm going to go all the way through. Man, I, I just got to be real because I know it's a lot of men that go through situations like this. And uh, man, they ain't got really got shit to talk about, or they ain't really got you know no outlet to really talk about it like that, man. Like it's just, I know my story isn't just you know uh, the only occurrence or the only person going through something like this. So I just got to spread the spread the uh, knowledge, you know. And, and me personally, uh, I mean me personal, personally, I'm a uh, shoot, I, I'm an intellect man. I'm a I'm an intelligent person, man. I know how to break it down, you know, and. Uh, I know how to keep it real, man. It is what it is, man. There's no sugar coat. You know, there's no pulling punches, man. I know how to just call a spade a spade, man. It is what it is, man. Like, I don't really give a fuck what nobody thinks about me, man. I, I'm on the descent. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm on the, uh, I'm excuse me, I'm on the ascent. Like, I, I'm ascending. Like, so people, you know, love to talk shit. You know, love to try to bring another black person down. That's pretty much how black people are. They don't work together, you know. Uh, Black people, a lot of black people want to be, they have a God complex. You know, they, they want to talk down on people and shit like that. Like, uh, personally, I feel like a lot of us go through a lot of trauma. You know, that's just the real the real shit there is. And we take that out on other people, take out the shit that we've been through on other people, hurt people, hurt people. That's all it is. You know, so, and we don't like to, man, let's keep it real. Black people, we don't like to live in the reality. You know, like I, I'm not like this. You know, me personally, I hate, I hate that motherfucking mindset, man. That's just, it's so, uh, it's so bitch ass mindset. It's like we're, it, it's crazy, bro. Like it's really crazy, man. Like, uh, what, what's the word? Uh, repression is real, is a real thing in the black community. I say that again. Repression is a real thing in the black community. Repression. We are a repressed bunch of people. So don't don't get it twisted, man. We love to repress some shit. We love to show what we want to show. We love to show, uh, you know, the warts and and, and the scars that we want to show. You know, we don't, but what we want don't want to show. We'll keep that from the public. That's that's some real shit. A lot of people will trauma dump on you, you know, but they only gonna tell you what the fuck they want to tell you. They ain't gonna tell you the real. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people like like to live on the surface. You know, it, it's rare that you find somebody that will, you know, keep it a hundred with people. You know, that's just facts. Like, so that's just the, that's just the real stuff. Real. You know what I'm saying? Like. Everybody want to act like they ain't going through shit. That's just the facts. I did try to bring the next person down. It's really a fucked up situation. Togetherness within our community. And that shit has to, has to stop, man. Like, you got to live in reality. You can't fake the funk. You know, like, that's just the real. You can't fake happiness. You know what I'm saying? You can't just fake your way through life. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to get to the bottom. If you do, it's nine times out of ten going to come back and get you. You know, if you're not living in your, in, in your truth, it's going to come back and get you, man. Like, it's going to show itself in your life. In some way, it's going to show itself. It's going to come up. It, it just is, you know? So, like, back to my situation. Uh, yeah, found out I have a nine-year-old daughter, for sure. Uh, got a DNA test with the, with her mother in December. Uh, first time, really, you know, knowing for sure. Man, the crazy situation with that, man, uh, with me and the, uh, the child's mother is uh, the child's mother me and she, the child's mother and me, we uh, basically, shit, like, uh, she had, she, she, she thought the child, or she gave the child to my, she, 
for once you told her it was, it was mine, to first she said it was mine. That's 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 the original thing. Like I had sex with her. She told me the thing she said, she said she was messing with my cousin when I first started messing with her. Like I first started messing with a girl, she said I was messing with a cousin. I mean, I was messing with your cousin. So I'm like, shit. I mean, you know, whatever. Me and my cousin ain't really that tight. You feel me? Like, it ain't really that serious. Like, that's just the reality of it. I was like, man, it ain't even that serious, man. Like, shit, I'm just gonna hit hit these hit these bugs. You feel me? Like, shit, like it ain't what it is, nigga. Like that. Me and him ain't that close. So shit, that ain't gonna stop me from hitting this hitting this pussy. So shit, I did that shit. Motherfucking stupidest shit ever. You feel me? Like, wasn't fucking with it. It was on some shit, just some dumb shit for real, for real. Like, man. Learn from your mistakes and try to get down. Hey, just like when you, I was 24, I was young, dumb, and full of cunt, straight up. Like, just she was going through shit. It was really like, like at a low time in my life, you feel me? So, shit, really, you know, just wasn't the right decision to be made. That when that was, hey, it was a wild time back then. That was, hey, that's what I'm telling you. Partying, man, it was just, you just wouldn't, I wasn't making the most wisest decision. Shit, but, uh, yeah, man, I end up uh the girl end up telling me she had a baby or whatever like that. And you know, I told her I was like shit, like I wasn't fucking with her, but I was like, um, I was like, shoot, I'll be a father, you know, if that's my uh child, then let's take the DNA test or whatever. And I, you know, it is what it is. Like I pay child support, be the child's life, whatever. So um shit hit me up, you know, told me the child about to be born and then you know, nine months later, whatever like that. Like uh really was a while. She didn't tell me that she was pregnant for a while, like and I sat, saw it on Facebook, and then she hit me up like, "Oh yeah, I'm having this child, blase, blase." I'm like, "Shoot, okay, like you know, this is a fucked up situation to bring him in, oh, you know, bring you know the child into this, you know, the situation we're in." But um, no love, you know, no, no continuity. It was just some one night stand, just some stupid shit, really, like just fucking. So, uh, boom, she said, you know, she'd be bringing the child in, which she did. So she had the child, you know. Uh, Told me she had a child. I was like, shoot, I bet, you know, like, uh, take the test. She first told me it, it could be a Mexican per- a guy's baby. That's the first thing she told me. So I'm like, I bet. So, you know, baby came out, you know, darker skin, you know, whatever. I'm like, shoot, you know, uh, whatever, you know, I, if it's my child, I'm going to be a father. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't fucking with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, put us through the system, you know, whatever like that, put me on the system. Like, I'm going to, you know, be there for the child. But I, like, I, as I told her, we like, she, was, she just was, at that time, uh, just just a very ratchet chick, you know. To be honest with you, like in her mindset, it ain't even like I ain't saying it in a bad way. Like she already had uh, two baby fathers, two children that she didn't have custody of. You know, uh, man, just 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 not really the smart, you know. Or just just a person that you know. I ain't talking down a person like you said. You, when you have sex with a person, you are equal. You know, that's his period. Like yeah, you, you may let the sex be done, have a kid. Whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like with a person you don't love or care for, you know, and she didn't love or care for me. It was equal. Like it was just, you know, transactional. We had sex, like whatever. So, you know, uh, like I said, man, the child was born and I like right hand on everything. She, uh, as I said, she uh, put the child up. Like, next, you know, I, my cousin was saying it was his child. So that's, that's boom. Like that's the shit that went crazy. Like that's the shit went, went all the way left. All the way left, man. Like straight up. Like, I'm looking online. On, I'm seeing online. I'm like, she told me she was like, right, I'm about to go have a baby. I'm like, bet. So they see, you know, I'm sitting online. This nigga talking about, oh shit, like, oh he had a baby. You know what I'm saying? So the plot thickens. I'm like, man, the fuck am I supposed to do? You feel me? Like that shit was some. Like I know he was. Like I, I mean, that shit was too close for comfort. Like, that's how I look at it. Like. Like for me, I just was confused. Uh, shoot, man, I'm like, the fuck I'm supposed to do? You know, that's just embarrassing. You know, I don't want to know, let nobody know I'm fucking with that. I had fuck with that bitch. Like, like man, like that shit was just some wild shit, degenerate bullshit. To be honest with you. So, shit, the time frame, man, I'm telling you, like my so the boom. Uh, she's living with them or whatever, off and on. I guess you feel me, like. Living, she living with, uh, from what she told me, she living with the with the person or whatever like that. Oh, uh, she living with my cousin, uh, and you know, taking care of the child when it was a child was a you know a baby baby whatever like that. So I'm like, man, bet. So I'm just you know being nosy. I'm like, man, this shit, what the fuck? Like, you know, cause you, 
it was just had me flabbergasted. I ain't gonna tell you, I ain't gonna lie. Like, of course, you know, the man in me is like, whoosh, whoo, you feel me? Like, shit, I died that bullet shit. Maybe that was his baby. You feel me? Like, shit, it's real. Like, both of them dark skin, both of you know, I don't know. Shit, as a man, I'm like, shit, how the fuck I'm supposed to know? You just said we both fucking, he was the right, he was at the, he was there the night before, or whatever, or, the, or a couple nights before. I'm like, you know, shit. Whatever you feel me like you already like in my mind I'm like she already in the time ho you feel me she already the jump off you feel me like so shit what the fuck I you know what I'm saying like shit like man like I I don't know she like she said before it could have been a Mexican dude so man I just know a lot of men go through shit like this man I'm just about to shit, I'm about to break it down for people bro for real for real like baby mama drama is not what it is man I'm telling you. Like, uh, that is why a lot of these kids are fucked up out here. They're like, and I'm just going, like I said, I'm going to break this whole thing down for the black men because I can elocute. I can speak my truth. I can tell you exactly what's going on as it is. You know, I ask, it is what it is, man. Like, I have no reason to lie. I have no reason to sugarcoat shit. Like, uh, I mean, I knew in my mind, I'm seeing this little child. And then I, you know, a couple of years later, I, have, I start having my own children. And I'm just seeing the similarities of how the children look. Like, you know, my child was born. Four years later, my uh, next got another girl. So it's just like time's going, you know, I, as shit, as a 34 year old man, like I'm telling you, time goes, man. Like yeah, you look down, time goes. So uh he, my cousin ended up having watching the child, man. So I'm like, shit, like shit, man, shit blew my mind. Like the, like the time frame, I mean, I'm gonna break this time frame all the way down. Like, so somewhere around, you know, from the time it was early very early from what i'm hearing like i don't know what time it was but basically in between like i want to say the first couple years of her life the mama had basically was having um basically my cousin raised the child by himself you know what i'm saying he was raising the child and he had got a like uh he had been getting a wife or a girlfriend uh and he was like basically primarily raising the child you know what i'm saying like uh you know like i said the girl didn't have custody of either none of her kids you know what i'm saying she she had kids early she had kids when she was like 15 years old like she had another child that she just had like two years a year a year or two for a year i think before she had this child the, uh, the girl my daughter so she had a you know what i'm saying so it was uh yeah, man, it was just a, uh, like I said, a fucked up situation, like a fucked up situation. Like, uh, so I don't know, you know, exactly what her circumstances were at that time, but I'm telling you, my cousin had primary custody of the child. So, man, for real, man. So I'm about to, like I said, <clears throat> I'm about to break this thing to pieces. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm gonna break this thing into segments. I'm gonna get this shit right. Oh man. I'm gonna break this shit into segments. Man, I gotta keep it real. Cause like I said, it, man, it's plenty black. It's plenty, it's pl uh, plenty black people going through shit. And man, I gotta be the voice for the voiceless. Cause man, there's no reason. No reason why somebody like Somebody that wants to be a father, that wants to help, that wants to reach out, that wants to be more than just, you know, uh, uh, somebody who sends money, you know, type deal. Like, I feel like I'm worth more than that. You know, I just want to I want to have that ability to interject that into my child. But I got to I got to break down this whole nigger shit situation, man. And I'm going to break it into parts, man. That's what I'm going to do. So this this part one. I broke it down pretty wild, man. Like, niggas, we go through some stupid ass shit. For real, that we put on ourselves, you know. I, I take full responsibility for having sex with a thought ass bitch, you know. It is what it is. Like I made a mistake at 24. I'm 34. I'll be 35 this year. Uh, let's see, the child will be 10 this year. Some wild shit, man. Like, like just, just it's really wild, you know. So this part one, I got more coming, man. It's, I'm gonna break down the whole situation, whole scenario, and how I got to the point where. I'm being uh, basically shut out from being able to have any contact with my child once again, you know. So it's it's whatever. Like I'm, it really is like I'm, I'm 
I'm not the one that you know went to jail for 14 months. But you know, I ain't, once again, I, that's me. Hey, I, now I'm the bad guy, right? Like I'm a, hey, I'm not. Matter of fact, just stay tuned, man. I got some more for you. I ain't the one that said I was sex trafficked or something like that. That's out your own mouth. You said that. You said you was sex trafficked. You're like, I right, like I said, I, I ain't the one to uh, victim victim blame, but a lot of her whole life she's a victim. That's all I'm saying about this person. Her whole life victim, a victim. So it, it is what it is, man. It's part one coming up. I ain't here. I ain't about to put nobody name in it, but I'm telling my truth, man. Telling my truth, man. Like shit, I was a dumbass nigga, and I. And that, I'm a nigga that never wanted to ever be in no nigga shit. Never wanted to be in no nigga shit. Look what the fuck I mean. I'm in some nigga shit with a nigga bitch. Like, and then real no bullshit. Ratchet ass nigga bitch. But I, I I could really air her ass out, man. Like, real talk. But I ain't gonna do it. She cause she had her little platform, but shit, real talk. I don't know. I mean, I'm gonna do it, you know, the right way once I get everything aligned up this year. I'm gonna take a visit, you know, try to have some type of contact. But I mean, uh, that's weird. Like, how you gonna love a child but you don't fuck with the people? You know, you, you ain't trying to shut out the person who helped you make this child. But you just plan to say you love a child. That's crazy. Like, the, the black community gotta stop that crazy shit. How the fuck you claim you love a child, but it's so many baby mamas and baby fathers that don't get along. But that, but you can say you love the child that came from this person. Make it make sense. Like, how can so many black people, black mothers and black fathers, not fuck with each other? at all but you try to claim that you fuck with the child that came from that person make it make sense that's some stupid ass shit we go through as black people for real man so part one man uh, tmp true masculinity podcast this is some crazy shit we got to keep it going man we got to keep on man, elevating and then man this is some real shit like share subscribe man i'm just here to let it go man and just tell people shit learn from me you know learn from my experience man true man be true masculinity podcast be true to you man like true masculinity. Everybody asks, man, what is true masculinity, man? It's being true to yourself, man. Straight up. That's all it is. So, man, uh, got more shit. It's part one of the uh, disgruntled baby father, man. <laughs> baby daddy. Great shit.